hi friends welcome to my another video today in this video i will discuss about the star delta starter concept the star delta concept is very interesting important from interview point of view and very misunderstood topic in the electrical engineering so let us discuss and clear our doubts related to star delta starter the first question will arise in our mind that why we need the star delta starter what is the need of a star delta starter as the three phase induction motor is a self starting motor or self starting machine then what is the important of a star delta starter as the induction motor is a self starting machine the answer is star delta starter has nothing to do for the starting of the induction motor there is no relation of starting up the three phase induction motor with the star delta starter so the question is then the question is still valid then why we need the star delta starter the answer is star delta starter is used to reduce the high induced current which induction motor taking at the time of starting then our next question will be what is the problem if the induction motor taking a huge high induced current at the time of starting what's the problem the problem is this high induced induced current in the induction motor will break down the insulation provided in the winding which will create the short circuit and which will create the sparking in the motor it will create the overheating of motor and it will reduce the overall span of the motor so it is important to reduce this high induced current which motor is taking at the time of starting so now we got the answer for our first question that is why we need the star delta starter for the three phase induction motor the answer is simple as i told you this star delta starter is reducing the high induced current which motor is taking at the time of starting here the second question arises that why the induction motor taking huge induced current at the time of starting for a while just consider this established fact that there is a high induced current at the time of starting of induction motor we will discuss the reason behind it in further part of the star delta starter concept for a while just consider this established fact now the question is how the star delta starter reducing the high induced current at the time of starting of induction motor the technique which reducing the high induced current of the three phase induction motor at the time of starting is very simple in the star delta starter the star delta starter giving reduced voltage and reduced current to the induction motor at the time of starting due to this reduced voltage and reduced current which applied to the induction motor at the time of starting will result to the reduced induced current at the time of starting as this induced current is temporary in the induction motor as the induction motor reaches its 80% of its rated speed the induced current will vanish and when at that time the star delta starter giving the full rated voltage and rated current to that induction motor to have its required torque and speed of the motor so the concept is very clear that is star delta starter technique is to give reduced voltage and reduced current to the induction motor so there will be reduced induced current at the time of starting of induction motor and once the motor reaches to its 80% of its rated speed then we will provide a rated voltage and rated current to that motor in order to run this motor with its required speed and required torque so this is the basic concept of a star delta starter as i told in my discussion that the star delta starter 
reduces the inrush current not completely vanish the inrush current so this is the graph when there is no star delta starter this red graph shows the high inrush current value and when the star delta starter introduced with the induction motor then also there is a inrush current but the magnitude of the inrush current is much lower compared to the starting current when the motor does not have the star delta connection without the star delta starter an induction motor draw a high starting current which is 6 to 7 time of the motor full load current an induction motor of 11 kw 22 ampere and 440 volt taking the high inrush current as 132 ampere at the time of starting which is very high because the starting the rated current or the full load current of the motor is only 22 kil 22 ampere but at the time of starting this motor is taking 132 ampere okay but once we introduce the star delta technique in the motor then what will happen the motor will take 3 to 4 time of its full load current so in this case if the motor is taking 3 time then the starting current will reduce from 132 ampere to 66 ampere which is comparatively very low so the purpose of the star delta technique to start the induction motor is to reduce the high inrush current which induction motor taking at the time of starting hope you understood this concept now let us understand how the star delta starter giving the reduced voltage and reduced current to the induction motor at the time of starting and how the star delta starter giving rated voltage and rated current to the induction motor once the induction motor reaches to its 80% of its rated speed in order to understand this let us brush up the basic concept of star delta configuration suppose these coils are identical in star as well as in delta connections okay the impedance value of this coil and this coil is same in star as well as in delta now you can see here in the star configuration the coil current is 10 ampere 10 ampere okay and the coil current in delta configuration is 17.3 ampere so what is the relation the relation is that the coil current in the delta configuration is root 3 time of the coil current in star connection so i can write here the coil current in delta configuration is equal to root 3 time of the coil current in star configuration right because when we will multiply this root 3 with the 10 ampere that is the coil current in the star connection then it will come to 17.3 so this is the one relation we made between star and delta configuration the second thing which you will observe here that the line current and the coil current in the star connection is equal and the coil current or line current of the star configuration is 1/3 of the line current of delta configuration so here there is a another relation that the coil current in star configuration is One third of line current in delta configuration, right? When we will multiply, when we will put this value into thirty, we will get the value ten ampere. So this is the two relation is very important to understand the star delta starter. The first relation is that the line that the coil current in the delta configuration. is root 3 time of the coil current in the star configuration and the second concept is 
द कॉयल करेंट और द लाइन करेंट बिकॉज इट्स सेम ऑफ द स्टार कन्फिग्रेशन इज वन थर्ड ऑफ द लाइन करेंट ऑफ डेल्टा कन्फिग्रेशन हियर यू कैन सी दैट द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस वन वाइंडिंग इन द स्टार कनेक्शन इज टू थर्टी बट द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस द वाइंडिंग वन वाइंडिंग इन द डेल्टा कन्फिग्रेशन इज फोर हंड्रेड एज आई टोल्ड यू इन माई अर्लियर डिस्कशन दैट द स्टार डेल्टा स्टार्टर यूजिंग वन टेक्निक एंड द टेक्निक इज दैट एट द टाइम ऑफ स्टार्टिंग द स्टार डेल्टा स्टार्टर प्रोवाइडिंग लेस वोल्टेज एंड लेस करेंट to the motor winding and once the motor catches its rated speed that is the 80% of its speed then the star delta starter providing its rated voltage and rated current to the motor so what is the trick here the trick here is the star delta starter first make the motor winding in the star configuration in order to do so the current in the winding and the voltage across the winding will be less so the end, so the starting current at the time of starting of induction motor also will be less and once the motor catches its rated speed then the star delta starter will change the motor winding configuration into the delta connection to gets its rated voltage and rated ampere hope i am clear till here so how the star delta starter technique is working first the star delta starter will convert the motor winding into the star configuration and once the motor catches its rated speed then the star delta starter changes the motor winding into the delta configuration here one important question arises why we have to do so many things to make the motor first in the star and then to the delta why we can why we cannot keep the motor winding in star connection and to let the motor run in that case the starting current of the motor will be less so problem will be solved no the problem will not be solved suppose suppose we connected the motor winding in star connection for throughout the time means during starting as well as during the running then what will happen the motor speed and torque is proportional to the voltage square in the star con configuration we reduces the voltage across the winding then what will happen then the speed and the torque of the motor will reduce what is the purpose of the motor the purpose of motor to do the mechanical work in order to solve the electrical problem we completely ignore the mechanical output of the motor when we will connect the motor in star configuration throughout the time so when the motor winding is in the star connection then the speed and the torque of the motor will be less all the time this is not a sensible decision we cannot compromise the motor output mechanical output due to the electrical problem in the motor now the question again one question arises okay so we can run the motor throughout the delta configuration need not to be start in the star and then we will convert the motor winding into the delta let the motor to run always in the delta configuration then the problem will be solved no in that case also the problem will not be solved why and as i told you that in the delta configuration the voltage across the winding is the rated voltage due to the rated voltage there will be a huge current in the winding this will result to the high huge inverse current at the time of starting so the problem will remain same we cannot run the motor at the time of starting in the delta configuration i hope you understand why the motor need to be start in the star configuration and why we need to change that motor winding to the delta configuration when the motor is about to reach its rated speed now let us understand what is the advantage and disadvantage of the star delta starter first thing reduce the flow of current at the starting 
विच अवॉइड द चांसेस ऑफ स्पार्किंग ओवर हीटिंग बर्निंग ऑफ द कॉयल एंड द इंसुलेशन फेलियर यस दिस इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ द स्टार डेल्टा स्टार्टर विच वी डिस्कस सो फार द सेकेंड थिंग इट इट हेल्प टू गैदर मोर स्पीड एंड टॉर्क टू द इंडक्शन मोटर एट रनिंग टाइम एज वी प्रोवाइडेड अ डेल्टा कंफिग्रेशन ड्यूरिंग रनिंग सो द मोटर इज गेटिंग द रेटेड वोल्टेज एंड द स्पीड एंड टॉर्क ऑफ द मोटर इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द वोल्टेज अप्लाइड सो ऑब्वियसली द स्पीड एंड टॉर्क ऑफ द मोटर विल बी मोर एट द टाइम ऑफ रनिंग द स्टार डेल्टा स्टार्टर इज मोस्ट सुटेबल फॉर लार्ज एंड हाई पावर इंडक्शन मोटर यस वाई because for the larger motor the inrush current or the starting current is also very high in that case the star delta starter will suppress this high inrush current to the lower value in order to save the insulation of the winding from the overheating from the burning of coil and from the sparking the star delta starter provide more electrical safety and greater life span to the induction motor yes because the star delta starter providing less overheating reducing the chances of burning of coil reducing the chances of insulation failure then it will be the safety of electrical motor and once the safety of electrical motor is more then the life span of the motor automatically will more so these are the advantage what is the disadvantage of the delta star delta starter the disadvantage is the star delta starter not completely vanish the high inrush current which motor is taking at the time of starting it is just reducing the magnitude of the high inrush current so far in this video what we discuss we answer the question that why we need the star delta starter for the three phase induction motor though it is a self starting machine we answer the second question that how the star delta starter reducing the high inrush current at the time of starting of single phase or three phase induction motor okay the third question we answer here that why we cannot keep the motor winding always in the star connection and the fourth one which we answer we discuss in this video is that why we cannot keep the motor winding always in the delta connection and lastly we discuss about the advantage and disadvantage of the star delta starter the one question which arises during discussion in this video is that why there is a high inrush current at the time of starting of induction motor which i told you just consider this fact but in later video i will discuss about this one so my second part on the star delta starter will clear this concept that why the induction motor taking high inrush current at the time of starting in the other part of the same star delta starter concept video i will make the wiring for the star delta starter to practically know how this star delta starter changing the motor winding first to the star connection and then to the delta connection so far just we studied about the concept of the star delta starter so i hope you like my video if you really like my video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much